Squally. Yeah. Now we're gonna talk that mosaic grain talk. Meet you with some boring action, saw wave. That sound like um, Lavos from Chrono Trigger. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody's from uh, on that retro shit from back in the day. Chrono Trigger for Super Nintendo. They also came out with on PlayStation. That sound like Lavos at the end when you're getting roasted. You know what I'm saying? Into the world. So that's that Mosaic Green engine. Now that's the saw. It's four eight. Now let's play some games. some Pac-Man game over type shit. I didn't mean to do that. I'm telling you that right now. I promise you that. I did not mean to do that. However, that's what it turned out to be. It gets into that analog modular territory when you get with these little crazy um, mosaic engines. Now, I'll explain this. This is, this is like a cluster of bricks. I think I, when I was loading up the pictures for the mosaic online, I, I accidentally wrong, loaded the wrong ones to the, you know what I'm saying, the wrong... Uh, kit and whatnot. I'm gonna go fix that in a second when I'm done with this video. However, this is like, I can't really explain it. It's this, the saw wave, but then it's turned into mosaic. I turned, uh, and so you can't identify it, but I'm telling you what I use to make this. So, it's, how it's grain is because each brick is different. You play the bricks. They're like, the bricks are vibrating or whatever, so. Uh, here, let me kill that. Let me see something real quick, y'all. Hold up.
wanted to hear what it was going to sound like with that. Sorry. So it's granular in nature. Um, it's not phased. I have made some phased versions of them. I think, I believe it's in two or three. I gotta uh, fix the pictures, y'all. My bad. I was trying to hurry up and get this stuff on lines. I'm like, damn, I ain't even. You know, I'm just trying to make sure everything's correct. You guys get the visual and yata. And let me explain something too. The reason why I have these kits so cheap and singular in nature is because. A person might not want to buy a bundle pack, which are coming out. You know what I'm saying? A person might not want to invest the whole 20. You know what I'm saying? They might not want to give to give up the dub. You know what I'm saying? They might not want to give up that whole charity. I understand that. So this is why you spend a dollar, spend 10%, and see what it's working with. And you buy, oh, okay, I see what that is. All right, cool. Done dilly. You see what I'm saying? So that's how that works. You know what I mean? You got Sometimes you have to have a little sampler platter, man. That's all there that's all there is to it. Now let's continue with these unknown mosaic paintings. Coming to much use, the modifier one is like a secret weapon now. On an inversion, that's how you want it. You set this shit up and go all the way in. Whoops. X or minus one always inverts whatever the product is uh, what you're using. So just keep that in mind. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look, you know how I got um. On this thing, uh, 256 feet, 512 on LFO speed. We only we know that it goes up from zero to 127, and from eight foot 16, 32, 64, 128 legitimately. Let's well, see with these oscillator engines because because of the way that they're done, you can get to the extra 256 foot, 512, 1024, uh, 2048, 4096, 8, You see. You can do that. This is called scale down. Now let's play. <laughs>
something in there. Add a little harmonic, a little guidance to this cluster of bricks that seems to be going so wild. You notice there's no filter action going on you notice I haven't gotten into the filter you notice that I'm only just using this little punk ass LFO and little modifier there's no mod matrix going on none of it this noise gets chaotically musically useful in a chaotic type of manner you hear this you know you can generate noises you never thought you would be able to get the ease of use this is the ease of use now I'm just doing this for display purposes However, I am going to break down the intricacies, the instruction, the how-to, the suggested how-to, or you should try this as a stepping stone to learn your own way to make your own chaotic, musically useful noise. This is where we're going to, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be the transient uh, school. I'm telling you, we're going to get into this. This is the baddest box, 100.
I'd say that's a, a renaissance to the uh, Blowfield sound engine, if I'd say so myself. The most versatile little desktop box you can get for 500. Guaranteed, man. I'm telling you, this bad box. I need to poly chain, poly saccharide these uh, this white one and this black one, man. I have a little machine orgy up on this table. We'll do some play play display of how we can bust down some double snowball action because this is like the snowball ac clinical morgue body uh drawer slab in the refrigerator it stays cold and nice and cool on the desktop unit and it sounds really cool it's like north pole arctic cool so on that note y'all um that would be the mosaic engine i probably don't want to get too long with this tape it's probably like too long already like what 17 minutes or something but yeah, I'll do a little something else and I'm out of you here. You get all types of shit. You see what I'm saying? You get all types of stuff. Excuse my French. Or my bad English, if you will. But yeah, look, check it out. Trader Crows on eBay. Crow 528, you know my name. You know my game. I'll come here to show you the notebook of the Blotty. Blotty. Low You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into this notebook. I'm telling you that. That's why I did this Kodak shit. You thought it was just a book, the Kodak, you thought I just stopped there? No. This is, I can't even get into it, man. It's called, it's called speaking things into fruition, man. I'll catch you on the flip.